Beach happening just as another batch of showers moved through the area not long ago. You can see though people were not scared off by the weather. People are in the water trying to get a day in at the beach. Meanwhile, a little further north on Clearwater Beach, people are being told to stay out of the water in one particular area. But now as Carson Chambers is live there. Uh, Carson, how do conditions look? The beach is packed behind you. Hi, yeah, Ashley, you know, earlier today they had out the double red flags, meaning danger, don't get in the water. We're actually standing on Pier 60 on Clearwater Beach. This is where they wanted people to stay out of the water. Well, things have changed by this afternoon. Uh, they meant no swimming all around the pier, not because of the riptides that are the problem, but the longshore current. It's a current that runs parallel to the shore, and that was snatching swimmers up and drifting them towards the pier pilings where the raves were crashing around. No incidents, major incidents so far today, but lifeguards sure are keeping a close eye on all the families and vacationers and the kids in the water. I like the waves, so it was awesome, but then I thought about the kids, and so it was like, hold their hands because it didn't knock you right off your feet very easily. And so even though today started out kind of messy, things really have improved weather-wise out here. The waves have died down. The red flags are no longer on the sand, and you can swim pretty much anywhere you want. Live in Clearwater Beach, I'm Carson Chambers for the Now Tampa Bay.